So during the next case, uh, we will try to um, do an ablation of a local recurrence of a renal cell carcinoma. And I will try to place my needle close to these clips. I will say in front of these clips. I will take great care uh, to avoid to puncture my target and I will go a little bit uh, lower because we can still see my targets uh, on those images, so my slide will be a slightly uh, lower position. I will use this NJ cat, which is a large gauge NJ cat. I will stick it in the patient for the few first centimeter. It will give me the rough duration to the target, and then I will be able to make uh, the few first centimeter of progression of my cryoprobes. Uh, I will say blindly, and then there will be enough space uh, in the gantry uh, to work with this cryoprobe. And I will use a syringe to exit the carbon dioxide through the 22 gauge needle that will be uh, locked uh, to this part. So the first step is to plug uh, on the carbon dioxide uh, bottle part. And then when you open uh, the carbon dioxide, you will see that the injector will go up. Okay, and then we are set up. And, and the nice thing about this syringe is that there is a stop and it cannot go away. So when we will be in the patient, we will inject the carbon dioxide this way. And we will load again the syringe this way. We did uh, stick mud, 10 minute freezing. Then we had a nine minutes of passive thawing, then one minute of active thawing, 10 minutes freezing again, and we are now uh, thawing actively uh, in order to retrieve the needle. So I'm just now uh, pulling out the needle I use for IRO dissection. I'm pulling out the cryoprobe I used for treatments, and I'm just retrieving the two guiding uh, cannula I use for the cryoprobe and the 22 gauge needle.